Hi everybody, welcome to Dragway Memories. I'm Rob Potter. And I'm Bill Richards. And today we return to Super Boss Dragway in Cayuga, Ontario. Yeah, look at this altar. It looks like a Hemi powered. Can't tell you much more about it. All steel wheels. Look at the pylon or lane separators in between the two lanes there. A little odd. Yeah, so veterans will be able to tell us a little bit more about that. Charlie Havlin, Canadian Drag Racing Hall of Fame member with his centennial paint job. So this tells us this is 1967. And Charlie taking Maggie down through the traps. Nasty machine out of Flint, Michigan. Small inch supercharged CC gasser. Love that car. Car was in popular hot rodding magazine, if I recall. And I probably have it, but we just do not have the time to get it. It's under about a thousand others. Another Canadian Drag yeah. Racing Hall of Fame member, Bill Kidd. Up against the White Digger. Yeah, I can't make out the Digger. Bill Kidd, easily enough to spot. And we don't know anything about this. Uh, hopefully out in uh, viewership land can uh, tell us a little bit more about this. Willie's Candy Red, obviously, some kind of cartoon character on the door. And that's about all we know about that one. Yep. We know this one, though. Yep. And Hutchinson Motors out of Elmer, up against Paul Richardson's Hustlin' Hemi, out of Ohio. And the Fiat gets the job Fiat done. Going oh, down maybe not. The There's a light on this lane. Could have been a bulb. And yeah, we're trying to figure out who this dragster is. Looks like it's Ford powered. Yeah. Could it be Scott Wilson? We're not sure. It's a fueler. It sure is. Okay, here we go. Gassers at Cayuga. Hill Brothers and Jack Coonrod, Bill. Yeah, Coonrod out of, I believe, Washington State. Very, very west coast anyway. And... Uh, he was involved in the manufacturing of some uh, gasser products, I can't remember what now, but uh, heavily involved for a while. Came back in the uh, gasser revival in the late 80s and Hill 90s. Hill Brothers gets the light, but... Jack the Bear moving hard. Runs him down into the fog. Brockman Speed Shop, 40 Willies. This is pretty funny car, boys and girls. This is what was the big draw for a few years in the 60s there. Yeah, see those pylon things again in the middle of the track. I'm hoping they're collapsible. Yeah. Audi and his Austin before the chop and before the massive lowering. But uh, no matter what he did, he made some awesome stuff. Good looking, extremely well running pieces. That car is restored now. Late John Cassiel restored it. It is the paddy wagon. Yeah, Tails and McNeil. Small block Chevy powered at this point, although it started life as the pie wagon with a straight six for power. It was blue then. Yeah. Getting on a good run here. Up against the tea bucket that looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, it looks like Tails and McNeil are running into some trouble. Yeah, some smoke. Tower side takes it. I mean, today's new tower. tower. Side. <laughs> yeah, I announced too much. Dennis Clark and the Mr. P way. This is before he moved out west. Nice angle there. Small block four speed car, if I believe. Good lap against the bike. Yeah. The Red Brothers, the Anglia Boys, Anglia out of boys. Toronto. Small block in that car. With a blower now, double leg gas. Yeah, they kept stepping it up. And the Mustang steps him up and takes him here. And this is Bill Lindner out of Rochester, New York, CC Rider. And his car number 287 is also the cubic inch size, small block Chevy, 287 inches of supercharged power. And we finish off this episode of Dragway Memories with the most famous car, arguably, in Canadian drag racing, the Carvault Fiat. Yeah, small block Chevy parts still in this footage. See you next week, folks.